broken wall boost. Can argue that much, but the player on short, that's certainly not overcommitment. Speaking of overcommitment, Rockin's going to try and aggress down alongside Zix towards that mid position. He will get one kill, but Croman deals with two more back. Four versus three. Make it three versus three as Denny Slaw does get the banana control, get the kill on Croman. Turn it to evens all the same here. And Nordavind, initial aggression faced against them. They will end up conceding that man advantage they obtain. They go back passive over to the T spawn, T uh, mid stairs areas. Nordavind. Playing, caref playing carefully around their current line of things. They realize that it might be a bit exposed to be pro. So readjust, go back towards banana control. Dennis Law is not facing aggressive. He's actually back behind the broken wall, ready for players to round the corner through the main entrance. 60 seconds with Nordavin to decide on that hit if they want to go for it. It does look like banana control is definitely up for grabs here for Nordwind. They've done so quite successfully, not even having to face the opera in the form of Denny's Law, but he's holding a pretty tight angle by this point. Denny's Law, he desperately needs to acquire the shot here because if he misses, he's going to be goner. And I'm not even sure if he can retreat safely. He does get the one, but he oh! repeats. Goes in for the second one. Denny's Law looking for more here. He player there. He misses the shot, but he goes in for more. I'm surprised to note that Denny's Law is still alive. Oh! But he's kill here. Beautiful stuff coming in from Denny's Law. And I mean... They are yet to make the push here. And people have got all the players here. All they have to do right now is to find the kills. But as of now, Nordwin are getting things done. There's two. That's the bomb being dropped. Those Zix in the pit should not be a threat any longer here. As the players, the Tensky <laughs> kind of struggling to make his way out of the balcony. But here, Viltrex does have AK47 to work with here. And Tensky and Kadian are quite low in HP. But Viltrex, does he have time on his side? Of course, the bomb will be planted here. He's looking for the frags here. He should be aware that somebody's still in people. Flash wins in. Viltrex looks away. He's looking for the frag here. Gets the one here. Looking for Kadian though. Oh! Versus one and Viltrex is gonna get it. That's gonna be four kills here for Viltrex and a victory here for Bipro. Impressive scenes from the Bulgarians. Lovely. Absolutely lovely from Viltrex. A flick to a low HP player. Doesn't need the spray. And for Bipro, that will turn them through. That's wonderful. No utility really coming out. Uh, there's the one smoker needed in the hands of Katie, and that's basically it. So I think they want to rely on Katie to try and find some of these kills here, or it's going to be hard to get the one. Nice shot with the deagle as the op shot just misses for his legs. And here, Nordwin, you have a chance here. Look at this. Players peeking on through the connector area. Will Zix be aware of it? If he is, there's still a lot more players to find here. Zix gets the one, the second one, and maybe even the third one. There we go. He mops them up, and an ace is looking likely. But Tensky. Is on the beast side. He's on the hunt with that golden koi of his. Not really much he can do though, other than just peek in and realize that no one else is here. Massively here. Zix now taking contact, spotting two. The spray is good for two as well. And Viltrex swings out, drops the bomb. Nordavind, the worst timing in the world. And Viltrex looks for a little bit more. Two kills against Croman, pre fires it. But Croman takes him down to one versus one. He's got to get this bomb to the bomb site right now. And Denny Slaw with a perfect chance to shut the whole situation down. Deagle up, 10 seconds. And Croman going to tap it once, try and force him to peek. Here we go, right around the corner. It's all going to come to the headshot spray. And Croman just is able to recover the round. But just is the right word for it. It seemed like B Pro had it on lock from the moment those two kills came in. The second does sit. Eventually the flashbangs will be able to support him his way out. Still peeks back in. Completely blinded off by the smoke though. And now Kadian catches Zix on the jump face eventually. Catches the second man as well on Denny. Four versus three. Nordavind. On the back of one man have turned the man advantage to their favor. Mid control established. A little bit of connector under their presence. 45 seconds of people are trying to react. Are they going to peek again? No flash support. Kadian's ready for a third. Rocking. Dead and buried and easy as that. B-Pro will just throw the round away. Nordavind. 30 seconds to make the hit happen, but they've got a two-man advantage unless they just rush in without a, an, an idea of what they of where the raft where the players the players are gonna play from Raftu and Viltrex positions. But I doubt that. Here come the smokes. Mortov's in. Actually landing at the exact same position. I have no idea what that tried to accomplish, but 15 seconds. Raftu here's the drawing the night of Mark one. Spray on the first. Oh my god, he's done it. Viltrex comes on, but he does end up going down regardless. 
And that will be a fourth for Nordovin. Still shaky though. And two damage done. Harry actually takes out his own teammate. So a four versus three. He makes it up with the kill on the CT player. And Rocking playing close to the end of the smokes. Here comes one good name. One spray down. Connects it on the second. And Kadian, last man standing over to the connected position. One versus three for him. And another round for B products to go their way at the end of the half. 11 to four. Unless Kadian does something magical. He does not have his trusty sniper rifle alongside him. He only has the AK-47. As of now, he's making his way through the monster and he hasn't been spotted out just yet. Okay, now he is. Now they're aware of his positioning and he's gonna get a one tap to Oblivion. That is a very much a convincing half for Smokes Chroman will take down Zix. Viltrex will trade back on Abino. Two for one overall as the T's make their way to the bomb site. The bomb plant not to be secured. And Denny ready to swing out, take him down. Nice and easy on Harry. Three versus three. Looking for Chroman next. And he goes oh. falling. Headshots are plenty for Denny's four. Up for the 4K against Tensky. So close. Rocking will steal it from the CT spawn. But Denny with three.